All right, here's my go-to pothos plant. I've been cutting out this one for a while now. You can see uh, this one here used to be as long as that one. And this one here, kind of hard to see, was also as long as that one. I wait till it gets about that long. This thing is about five feet long. And then I make a cut. And then I will show you what I do. All right, most important thing, clean pair of scissors or knife. Soap water, some kind of uh, peroxide works good. And you make a clean cut. And now you proceed to cut in between each leaf. Make sure you see you get this node right here. And I will show you what it looks like when I make the cut. All right, this is what it looks like when you're done. I left these ones a little long of an experiment with a long one with extra nodes just to see if these nodes grow anything. But normally I don't do that. This is what you need right here. Just this right here. One leaf, one little short stem. The most important part is this node right here. And then you just take it like this, put it in normally tap water, and you wait until it grows. When you're done, you have something like this. Where all the stems are underwater, the sponge is just to hold them all in place. You can use anything you want. I like this because I can take them out individually. If you tie them all up, then you can't take them out individually. Because occasionally, you may have some die off and you want to remove it as soon as possible. This also helps it very easy to change the water because they all come out with the sponge. Although there's a hole in the sponge, it allows you to take them out when it does die.